energy, force, work. Still confused? Watch the full video and subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about this example in detail. Energy is basically an ability to do some work. Theoretically, this energy is conserved in a closed system. Closed system is a system that doesn't interact with the surrounding. Now, as the energy is conserved, it means that the energy is neither created nor destroyed. It rather transfers from one body to another and is converted from one form to another. So the sum of the total energy at the end of the process remains same. There are two basic forms of energy. The first one is potential energy, which is a stored form of energy because of the position of a body or an object. The second one is kinetic energy, which is associated with movement and is found in all moving bodies or objects. Here, the energy stored inside the muscles of the arm is the potential energy, which is supposed to be transferred into the object and is supposed to be converted into the kinetic energy. But how does this energy transfer or convert? This is where the force comes into play, which is basically a push or a pull, and is the only source or a way of transferring this energy. When the force is applied on this object, the body transfers some of its potential energy into the object. But when this force is not enough to move the object, the energy which is transferred is not converted into the useful energy at all. Rather, it is considered to be wasted. Now, when the force is increased, the object will gain kinetic energy and it will move and the work will be done. Note that the work is only done when the force will move the object from one point to the other. The distance between these two points is called displacement. So for work done, force and displacement both are equally important. Work and energy are very closely related. They also have same unit, joule. According to the famous work energy theorem, work done is equal to the change in kinetic or any form of energy, which means work done is the final result of the energy conversion at the end of the process and it can be regarded as the useful conversion of energy because in reality the energy is not actually conserved in a closed system. A lot of energy is wasted in the form of heat because of friction. So in these cases the potential energy which is then successfully converted into kinetic energy is considered to be the useful energy which is indeed the work done. As we know that there are two basic forms of energy potential and kinetic. In addition to these, there are other forms of energy as well, such as electromagnetic, nuclear, thermal energy, and many more. These energies are basically generated because of the coexistence of potential and kinetic energy. Similarly, there are two basic types of forces, contact forces and non-contact forces. Work on the other hand is equal to change in energy and has no further form or type. By definition, kinetic energy of a moving object is equal to half of its mass times its velocity squared, while potential energy of a stationary object is equal to its mass times gravitational acceleration times height from the surface of Earth. While we know force is the product of mass and acceleration and work is defined as force times displacement. Unit of energy and work is same, which is joule, which is kilogram meter squared per second squared, while the unit of force is newton, kilogram meter per second squared, which makes one thing clear that energy and work have one extra dimension of length, making them different from force. Force is applied in a specific direction, so it is vector quantity, while energy and work are scalar quantities, which means they have no direction. 